Thank you. Thank you and good evening to everyone. Good evening. Okay, so um, I guess I can kickstart. Yes, please. Let me try to see if I can share my screen, right? So we can all have access to what I'll be sharing with you. Um, oh, okay, they say the host disabled participant screen share. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Then I think I can go ahead. So for those of you who will be able to write, unless you put down something where um, I wanted to share the screen, but it's unfortunate. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Just a minute. But thank you so much, team, um, for having me. I know it's, 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 a, it's a good privilege for me to share this knowledge with you because, um, please, can you see my screen? Yes, please. Great. We can see. So, um, yes, as I began to say, I'm grateful for the opportunity because I know um, you would have had a lot of options when it comes to somebody talking to you about investment, but um, at least getting to um, allow me on your platform is, is a privilege. So um, basically, today we want to look at creating an investment strategy. And I know already being a part of the Young Investors Network, you have some idea about investment and you may even have started some investment one way or the other. So basically you have a strategy that you are working with, but there is an adage in a can that says that, um, and I'm not doing the same coin. Sometimes you may think you are doing something right. Somebody's experience could reshape what you are doing. So it's good we also share ideas and be able to see how the, the future holds. To begin with, let me just give you an overview of how Ghana and our economy is going. Um, yesterday, there was a friend of mine, a friend of mine from Bank of Ghana who called me that, yo, now I don't trust any investment policy in Ghana again. Then I was like, why? So he said a number of his colleagues have had their funds locked up in some institutions and they are not able to have it. And my answer was like, ah, and it's coming from you, somebody working from BOG, who knows what is happening and who even um, has his bosses bringing these notices out to, and you are complaining. So what would the normal Ghanaian do? We've gone through uh, uh, quite some unpleasant experiences over the years past when it comes to investment in Ghana. But those are not to say that there will be reasons for us not to invest or not to look into the future and do the proper things. Currently in Ghana, whether you invest or not, inflation is still on the high. Inflation as at last month is 25 or was 25.8. Meaning any money hello, that... Sir. Yeah, hello. Um, we can't see. I don't know if you can put it on slide play. So that's... Yes, please. Please, can we have a full projection, please? 